everyone. I'm bringing you the first ever episode of the New Life News Junior from the totally awesome New Life Newsroom. We thought to keep everyone connected, since no one can go to school, that we would make a news channel to help everyone stay connected. Now, we're staying home from school because of this little thing called the coronavirus. Now, some of you might be wondering, it's just a sickness like other sicknesses. Why are we staying home from this one? Well, let me explain. My mom used to work with a teacher in Hudson. The teacher's name was Tara Tuchel, and she writes stories to help kids understand things. My mom will now read Tara Tuchel's story about the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Why do I have to stay home? Sometimes people get sick. Little things called germs make people sick. When people get sick, they usually stay home. That way, we don't spread the germs. Right now, there are some germs called coronavirus that are making a lot of people sick. It is very important that I stay in my house or my yard right now. That way, I won't get sick. This means that I will not go to restaurants for a little while. I can eat at home for now. Also, I will not be going to school or stores right now. This might make me feel a little sad, but my family will help me find fun things to do at home. When the coronavirus germs are gone, my family will tell me and we can go back to my favorite places again. It will be okay. Wow, thanks mom. That really helps us understand this. We're all stuck at home. Like, I mean, we can't hang out with each other or see friends. We can't go to school. We can't do sports and activities. Your parents can't even go to work. Now, this might make you mad, and this might even make your parents mad. You just might want to throw a basketball. Or maybe if you're sad, you might just want to hug a unicorn. But the best thing to do in times like this is pray. Because praying is really helpful. And God is always listening to your prayers. So no matter what, if you just are feeling really frustrated or angry and you have a lot of built up emotion inside, you might just want to pray to God because he's listening and I guarantee you that he will help with stress. Remember this, God is with you in all things that you do. And we know this is true because it's in the Bible. Genesis 21 verse 22. Here's what you can expect on this newscast. Every week, we're either gonna have a question or a challenge, like the poster. This poster is this week's challenge. So, I want you to make a poster saying, hashtag, I'm staying home for. You can write anyone you want. I wrote nurses and doctors, because they're the ones fighting the virus up on the front lines. And if they get sick, well, who's going to help the sick? Make your poster by writing, hashtag, I'm staying home for. And then you can write anyone you want. A pet, a friend, a family member. A fish. Once you've created and finished your poster, make a 10 second video of you reading your poster and explaining why you wrote them. We have another NLA family to give you an example of what the video should look like. Take it away. I'm staying home for my grandpa who has cancer. I'm staying home for my mom's co workers at Woodwinds Hospital. Thanks, guys. Now, for what to expect on this channel. Every week we'll have a challenge like this or a question. We'll also be doing really fun things like cool science experiments or cool recipes for cooking. And you can also see a short chapter book being read by people that you might see at school every day, like Mrs. Washburn or Dr. Locklear or Mrs. DeBoer. What are you doing to stay busy and have fun while we're cooped up at home? We would love for you to share it with us and we will share it over the channel to everyone. 
Now, for your posters, stay tuned to the end to see contact information to know exactly where to send the videos of you and your posters so they can get to the right place. We'll post them over the channel. Now my sister will show you another example. Come in. Hashtag I'm staying home for Brooke Nagle and Mary W because they are my best friend and I do not want them to get sick. Thanks. Breaking news. This just in. Mrs. Washburn, our principal, has sent us a video. Let's watch it. Hi, New Life. It's Miss Washburn coming to you from my home and very excited to be on video with you. I'm partnering up with Isaiah to bring you my hashtag, which is hashtag I stay home for my mom, who's older in a high risk group, and for my school because I love you guys and I want you to stay healthy and happy. Have a great day. Thanks. This virus may be strong, but God is stronger and he's in control. So don't worry. Wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. Till next time. Bye guys.